Hi there, ladies. I am back again. Um, I just made my Take Charge Tuesday uh, video with my tip for Tuesday, and I realized after watching it that I kind of made a boo-boo in a calculation. I meant to say, and I want to clarify better so that it's not misinterpreted. So please watch this video as well. I hope you watch this video to see the correction. Um, so what I was saying about the times that we have in a day, we have 24 hours in one given day. Eight hours, let's say, is dedicated to working a normal nine to five, right? And supposedly another eight hours is dedicated to sleeping, which I'm lucky if I sleep seven hours a, day, a night, but just let's assume it's eight hours. So eight and eight is 16. So you still have another eight hours of time to use that you're not sleeping and that you're not quote unquote working if you are working a, another full-time job outside of Stella and Dot. Um, and of course, being a stay-at-home mom, you are also uh, working a full-time job, but we're just saying for calculation purposes. So eight hours, nine to five, eight hours sleeping, add that up, that's 16. You still have another eight hours left in that 24 hours to do something with your time. That eight hours times seven is 56 hours a week that you have to dedicate time to, to, to delegate, you know, what you're going to do with your time, to structure, to organize, to do whatever it is that you need to do, be it Stella and Dot or whatever it is that you need to do. But once you look at the chunks of time that you have, you will realize that we are wasting more and more time each and every day. And those little minutes, those five minute slots add up to something big. And so, if it really needs to be done, you can break down different tasks that you do and figure out how long it will take you to do each task and do like a, a time a stamp on it. Like, you know, it takes you 15 minutes to do this thing. It takes you 15 minutes and make a list of those tasks. And then when you are in a situation where you're waiting in line at the DMV for 20 minutes, what can you do during that time at the DMV for 20 minutes out of the list? of tasks that you have to do so that you can make the most of your time. So, cause I was saying, I know I said in the video 56 hours a week and I meant to say that's what's left over um, that you have time to dedicate to. And so hopefully when you look at time in that way and you see that you have those chunks, sleeping, take that chunk away, the, the af absolutely what you have to do at work, take that chunk away and what you have left, you still have eight hours each day. You spend one hour with your family for dinner, you know, the time you get cleaning up, set up a system, set up a plan, organize your time, do a little bit, do it day by day because you don't want to try to change the world in a moment. It takes time. Rome wasn't built in a day. I love to say that to people all the time because it really does take, a t takes time. But you have to know what to do with your time. So hopefully that clarifies what I was trying to say with my calculation. Sorry if I confused anybody. And enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks, ladies. Bye.